Hi, I'm Mark Waller. I'm the head gardener at Goldsborough Hall and we're celebrating uh, the wonders that are snowdrops. Here at Goldsborough Hall we have a huge Galanthus woodland with over 140 different types and we are opening uh, our doors to the general public uh, this coming Sunday the 4th and then two weeks uh, later on the 18th. Everyone has to get through the winter and then they get to February and they're chomping at the bit to have a bit of uh, bit of early spring and a bit of sunshine and a bit of a bit of joy of life new growth new new season uh, and all that expectation that brings so uh, yeah more and more people come each year to see our ever-growing collection of snowdrops and uh, the beautiful grounds here at Goldsborough Hall every aspect of uh, the the snowdrop structure you can find variations within it either be the the flower itself the, the strapping leaves uh, the different uh, markings with on the on the petals. People spend thousands of pounds per per bulb. I think the world record was broken last year. Eight thousand pounds for a single bulb. Uh, there's over uh, nearly a thousand different types of snowdrops. Unfortunately, we don't have that many, uh, but we have we have certainly a substantial number, and they all come from very small to very big and uh, they come from different times in the year. You can get ones which come out in the autumn. We have a couple like that, but most of ours uh, come out with de various different points throughout February. Um, I think it's, it's about average at the moment. Like the, they are evolved to handle like the deep colds and, and to get that early season increase in light, which we have after the, after the equinox, after Christmas. Um, but yeah, they're, they're robust, they're robust uh, little things and so they've been handling the winds and the rain quite well.